What is going on guys? I have a super special guest right here with the beautiful blue eyes. Jonathan from Airsoftology, all the way from the other side of the pond. Here to visit us at the office. Thanks for coming, Jonathan. Oh, you say the nicest things. I try, I try. Oh, I feel so warm and special. Awesome. Like just cuddly inside. So today we're gonna go over some of Jonathan's top picks for his top airsoft guns. Keep watching if you wanna learn why these guns are right here. Hey, so thanks again for coming here. Man, thanks for having me. I'm super excited. I mean, literally, got off the plane, hopped on the train, and came right here. Like, numero uno on the Hong Kong list. So. And you're leaving in 20 minutes, right? Yeah, 20 minutes, that's it. So it, my whole reason, stop here, forget everything else, back in the plane, back out. So, shucks. 14 hours over, 14 hours back, 20 <laughs> minutes here. Nice. Just for you. Just and for you, you guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, got to feel special. Since you complimented <laughs> me earlier. Thank you. Well. You want to go through some of the guns here? Some of these are your uh, your guns that you picked, right? So you asked me to yes. kind of pick out like my favorite. You said top five, but I kind of broke the rules. I've never been good at following rules, but uh, so top five, six uh, guns that I love, play with, use, that have a warm space in my heart, old and some new, believe it or not. So. I mean, just dive on in. Take it away. Which way do you want me to go? Big, Let's, little, or little, we can big? We go from pistols and work our way up to the sniper rifle. All right, so I'm gonna reach out across. First up, Nighthawk Custom Covert. This is the workhorse. This is my go-to pistol for pretty much any game, especially when you get beyond those nice, warm summer months uh, in the United States. If you guys know, I'm, I'm from the U.S. And we're, I'm not blessed with this one forum temperature you have here in Hong Kong, 24-7, 365. Uh, which, by the way, I've been melting here, being turned around there. Uh, being CO2, KWC uh, built on this version, it's, it's kind of, in my mind, the absolute workhorse pistol when it comes to airsoft. It works, uh, it's a 1911, so it fits in every 1911 holster, and you can get the bonus thread adapter on here so you can go crazy and put the suppressor on. I just kind of like the look. I usually put like the, the thread cover, mm -hmm. and then it's the weekend, and it's time to go party and impress uh, the other ladies. Then it's time to move up to this one. I, it's the Agency Arms. And I know it's not a pistol. I kind of right. broke the rules. That's why this one's a little off. It's technically just the slide kit, yep. along with the trigger yep. and yep. the magwell, yep. and you've got to get a donor. Um, can I say this word on TV? That particular that company, uh, yes. Yeah. No, I know in the U.S. it's 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 a five-letter word. Um, but no, the I, I absolutely love it. I it's it's a head turner, and it performs well. The best thing there's a couple cool things about this kit, not just the looks and the fact that you can. I do run a RMR mm -hmm. like a red dot on here. I have like a trigon that I put on top. The elevated sights, um, the barrel, silver barrel, freaking awesome. But for me, more than anything, it's two things. The flared mag, well, easier mag changes and I get ready to knock everything off here. And then the trigger itself. The trigger, it's all about the adjustability of the reset. The ability to actually get that away, make the shot, you pull, and then the reset is just right there. It's just so slight on the reset. And you've got a follow-up shot. That's what makes this pistol so cool in my book. It's yeah. just those quick follow-up shots. Moving on down. Time to get a little bigger batter, CQB action, the Marine oh, yeah. 70. Um, not too much to explain about this. Three barrels, your choice of three or six rounds, which means you're gonna get between 10 and five shots out of the 30 round shell in here. We're gonna put a spare shell up here in the front. If you didn't know, this actually opens up. A little bit of optics, which I sometimes put a red dot, sometimes not, because A, it's CQB. And the mag, the gas tank holds tons of shots. I use the six when it's like really up close CQB because it's lower power. Yeah. It's pushing six BBs, a little friendlier for your opponents. Mm -hmm. You don't need to be shooting super hard. It puts it down in the twos very comfortably. Uh, for longer range engagements, I switch it back to the three round burst to get that range. Sure. So, love it. A little heavy, but man, you want something to blast some doors in. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. And that cocky sound is that universal sound of time to get out of the way. It is. Sometimes when you know you've got some players hiding in there and it's just like, all right, it's time to go, that. Mm, that'll make the people inside the door just go, do I want to stay in this room? Yeah. I'm not quite sure about that. Cool. Next up, uh, and I realized this after I gave you the list, because mm -hmm. you're both from the same company. Yes. Even though they're very different. I'm going to go old and new. So I have like old and new, and I, I you know, it's like, it's funny, I just keep picking this. HP416, it is the workhorse. Now this is new, this is a, what, 2016 model. Uh, based on the serial number. Mine's a 2011. I've had mine that long, and this is 2017 when you're watching this video, uh, about uh, April, give or take. I've had mine that long. Now, mine, even though it's old, 
pretty much gutted internals at this mm -hmm. point for that long. I have everything in here, I mean, upgraded high MOSFET, new gear, I mean, the works, right? Motor, everything you could possibly do. And I've made, kind of like SEAL teamed it out, I guess, for the lack of, you know. Like everybody you, does with the 416, right? You do, <laughs> the Magpul stock. Uh, the EOTech. The EOTech with the flip, the G33 kits yeah. with the flip the side, the suppressor, you know, the full works, oh, right? Yeah, okay. Now I did kind of, Deviate a little bit, and on mine I have the original one, so it didn't have the the new grip. Right. So I went with the uh, PTS and Hans Palmer grip, EPG right. for yeah, that, yeah, and yeah. I I like it. It's a little more vertical, so mm -hmm. it reminds me a lot of this. Good grip. texturing on it. Yeah. Too. yeah, it does. I like the verticality on it. So there's that. Then we go to new. So that one's fully upgraded. If you just want the gun for me, I want something I know I can just grab off the shelf. Yeah, I'm not because sometimes when you tune a gun. There's some tuning, right? I mean, sometimes you got to kind of go back in there yeah, and work yeah, on it. Yeah. So that's like the, the Formula One racer. Then you've got like the bulldozer or the yeah. tank, right? That you know you can just grab it and go. And this has become like my new favorite go-to. I just got one of these in and I've been using it. It is the Avalon uh, from VFC. And that's what I was saying. They're both in the same. VFC does make the 416 as well. It's licensed through Umarex uh, worldwide. The Avalon is the newest internal. So like mm -hmm. the new mirror mech box, the VR16 mech box or Avalon mech box, has all kinds of crazy internals, quick change spring, all that good yep. stuff. Tons of upgrades from what was in this and still is in this one right here, the 2016 model. What's cool about this, if you guys didn't know, this is actually different than what I have because you guys have the Asian slash European market version, which is truly the Avalon. In fact, if you look at the markings, it says Avalon on it. The US market version is the VR16, mm -hmm. uh, but it's been brand named the Avalon. Right. The difference is there are actually changes. Uh, one is the trigger. This trigger is just a plain flat trigger. The US version has the lightning bolt trigger. It's got right. the lightning trigger in it. So that's a quick way to look. In your version, you have the Crusader, kind of this uh, oversized anti charging handle. It looks really cool. You get this swivel sling attachment that rotates all the way around. That's also on this version. You're not gonna find in the US version. And then on top of that, of course, the metal flash hider. And then under the hood, which you don't, but you do have different, the internals, the motor, all that are the same, but you get a maple leaf inner barrel and a maple leaf hop-up button from the factory. And in fact, even the inner barrel itself has like the scripture, right. uh, this like kind of a biblical work scripture. I forget exactly what it says, but down the side of the barrel, so you can pop it out, you can tell. So it's not the brass barrel, it's kind of a dark gray right, when right, you slide right. it out. Yeah. So that's the difference. Moving to the last one on the list. Now this, I think everybody knows, is the VSR-10. But why don't you tell us why you picked the VSR-10? I know this is kind of like the basic yeah. kind of uh, answer when it comes to it, but I wanted to put a sniper rifle in, and I've owned, or own, just about every model. I mean, I started off with an APS-2 that was upgraded to no end. I mean, like, imported Japanese parts. I'm not even gonna tell you how much I spent, because people I know that have access to my bank account, AKA my family, uh, would be very mad at me if they knew how much I spent over the years <laughs> to build it out. Had it shooting in insane, like I'm not even gonna get the numbers. But even that gun, and then everything I've owned after it, tons of sniper rifles, it just comes back to the tunability and upgradeability and the ability to do whatever you want. You can full barrel it, you wanna, so make it short for kind of like even a CQD mm -hmm. sniper, or turn this thing up to be just a monster. It's hard to beat the VSR-10 yeah. by Maru. Yeah. Um, even the clones, I bought other brands that are clone of the VSR-10, just not, not like the real thing. It isn't, and I know you gotta put more parts in this yeah. to make it work, but it's still not the same. Yeah, so, you're right. That's it. Yeah. So that's why this one's on my list. I mean, it's just really hard to beat it, and of course, like I said, you can do whatever you yeah, want. you can yeah. upgrade this thing to no one. It's definitely a great foundation or building block to build a better sniper rifle. It's a great platform, actually. Yeah, it's the, the joke about sniper rifles is like you spend like a couple hundred bucks on the rifle, yeah. US, and then you spend um, six, seven, eight hundred bucks. <laughs> so like the actual <laughs> the shell is that you end up with just yeah. like a few metal parts you've kept from the original gun. Yep, yep, pretty much, pretty much. And then you're dumping your whole life into the sniper rifle. Yeah, but it's worth it. It's worth it. It's one of those love-hate relationships. Yeah, it is. Well, that's my list. That's it. That's awesome. Um, Kind of the, the go-to start to finish. That's great. Hey, thanks for coming in. Again, I know I said that a lot, but yeah. it does mean a lot to us to have you here. Dude, I'm so glad. I, I mean, I'm, I know it sounds like so cliche, but I'm, I've am i been wanting to come here for, I couldn't even tell you how many years. I, I was talking earlier uh, when we walked in. I'm pretty sure I made my first purchase from Red Wolf about 15 years ago as a wow. customer. I'm pretty sure it's close to that. To kind of date myself, it's it's been a while. And he's not 23 while. anymore. I guess. Yeah, I mean, well, I could have started buying when I was like 23, 15, carrying two. Was that eight? 
Eight years old, maybe? We'll I'll never know. know. Math. We'll never know. Math. <laughs> <laughs> so hey guys, hope you really enjoyed this video with Jonathan and kind of learned a little bit about why he chose some of the guns that he chose. And if you want to find all of these cool products and many more, don't forget to visit our online store at www.rebelfairsoft.com. My name is Mark, aka Blue Steel. I'll catch you guys on the next episode of Rebel TV. And before you go, don't forget to follow Jonathan on his YouTube channel at Airsoftology and all of his other social media links in the description below. Have a good one, guys.